Uh, we are presenting our work on cross data set evaluation of audio tagging. It's a work I did with Philippe in uh, the London workshop. And uh, basically, um, the question we are asking here is how do the models, uh, how does a model trained on a specific data set perform on a different data set? And specifically, the task we are uh, looking for here is uh, audio auto tagging. And the way we do it is by training the model on a, on, on a specific data set and uh, testing it on another data set with um, uh, overlapping tags. And we have to say that uh, this work was done, uh, was made very easy, uh, thanks to uh, Minzwan and Andres Caro for um, providing their pre-trained models uh, before they were officially published. Um, so, uh, this is not a very common thing to do, but it's not particularly new. Uh, we have seen some similar things done in some uh, other fields uh, with some interesting results. Uh, for example, there has been uh, in, in grammatical error uh, prediction models, um, a cross corporate evaluation was done and it showed that the models perform very uh, significantly differently uh, from uh, different data sets. And a similar thing was done in speech and motion recognition, and there has been a, a significant drop in uh, uh, the performance of a model on different data sets. And we are curious in how this would um, translate, or if we have similar patterns um, when we apply the same thing on audio tagging models. Uh, so basically, audio tagging models is quite a popular problem. Uh, given an audio tag, uh, we want to tag it with a specific set of tags uh, given the data set. And there has been several approaches and models proposed for this uh, problem, uh, which applies to either the audio input as a mill spectrogram or waveform. Specifically in this work, we focus on uh, three common models. Uh, one by Choi, which applies to the mill spectrogram with a computational neural network, and the musician uh, model uh, applies also to the mill spectrogram with musically motivated uh, computational neural network, and the sample level uh, model that um, uh, is applied to the waveform. And uh, the other uh, side of the uh, experiment is the data sets we use. So we use uh, three common data sets in audio tagging, the Jamindo data set, the Million Song data set, and the Magna Tagetune data set. And uh, a very important quality between these data sets is the number of overlapping tags, because these overlapping tags will be the thing that we use to, cross, to do the cross data set evaluation. And they vary from one data set to the other between 16, 14, 8, and uh, all of them share seven different uh, tags. And all of the different data sets have a different number of uh, uh, tags, of course. And they all have 50 tags. We use the uh, top 50 most frequent tags on each data set. Uh, so uh, an interesting thing is to um, see how the traditional evaluation is uh, uh, done on, on the different uh, models and data sets. And uh, the uh, important thing to notice here that Almost all the models perform very, very similarly uh, between the different data sets, but the evaluation is different from one data set to the other, and this is probably due to the quality or um, the uh, way that the data set was created and packed. Um, so, specifically, what we are doing here is for each of the auto tagging models we have, we train them on each of the data sets we have, and then this trained model. We would test it on the two different data sets, only on the overlapping tags between the trained data sets and the testing data sets. And then we'd evaluate our model with this overlapping tags of the test sets, with its ground truth. And I will leave Philippe to uh, go through um, the rest of the results. Okay, uh, so uh, on this slide, uh, you can see uh, how we, uh, on, the, on the first table, you see the number of the tags. Uh, that are overlapping between the different sets, and uh, the uh, the rows are the test uh, the data sets that we are training on, and the columns are the data sets that we are testing on. So, uh, and you see the diagonal. Uh, uh, basically, we have uh, joined the uh, pairwise uh, intersections. So, for example, uh, this uh, Magnetagatun uh, self evaluation twenty two tags are basically the common tags between Magnetagatun and million data datasets and plus the common text between the Magna Tagatune and the Gemendo data set. So uh, it would be a bit more comparable because obviously if we evaluate on the whole top 50 tags for the diagonal, for the self uh, performances, it would be not uh, really feasible. Uh, and uh, you can see the results. 
And uh, obviously, um, so far, Magnetic Tune is the one, uh, the, the data set where even if we had been testing on it, some of the data, some of the performances actually can increase. For example, you can see like the Gemendo data set has like 8, uh, 0.85 uh, rock ALK. All of those uh, measures are rock ALK. And it increases like by 0 0.01 uh, if we test on the Magnetagatun. Uh, but also you can see that uh, those kind of performances uh, uh, represent the generalization capabilities as we uh, hypothesized. So for example, you see that a million found data set uh, doesn't, uh, well, Gemendo doesn't really generalize well to the million found data set. And uh, there are multiple reasons to that. And we will uh, go into them much more deeply. Just like to show another uh, comparison, uh, the last table is uh, all of the evaluation, uh, all of the rock outs have been compared on the seven uh, tags uh, that are common between all three data sets. And you see that the performances are similar between like pairwise tags, even if they go and kind of go all up to 14 or 15 on a, comparing to if you just use the seven ones. Uh, so uh, here uh, in this table, uh, we tried to see if the differences between the models actually contribute uh, to the, uh, if, if, if the different models would perform very differently. And uh, the first table you see, uh, so this is the, we are, have been training the model, uh, all of those models, uh, this is, uh, so we have been training this on Magnetagatun and uh, evaluating on Gemendo, and these are the tags that are common between these two data sets. And uh, you see that even if the average kind of performance between uh, three models, the musician, the fully connected one by Choi and the sample level are kind of similar, uh, there are some uh, differences between tags. In particular, you see on the second table here uh, to the right are the differences between the individual models. For example, difference between musician and uh, FCN, the difference between FCN and sample level and the difference between sample level and the musician. So, for example, some tags, like you see the drums, uh, you can see that musician kind of performs much better than other models. Uh, and like you, see, you can see that some models are better at the tags. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, like those tags are kind of different uh, comparing to if we would be testing and evaluating the uh, model on the same data set, for example, it would be like testing on demand and evaluating the demand. So those tags kind of change once you're trying to generalize the model. And, uh, but this kind of, uh, uh, those differences are kind of zero, you see at 0 0.03, 0 0.02, 0 0.01. So it is not much uh, comparing uh, to the performances of the models if we would actually compare different data sets between each other. So on this table, uh, you can see that uh, the, uh, mm, uh, the first, uh, basically like here are the data sets that we are training on and the second row is the data sets that we are testing on. So we grouped by the data sets that we are testing on because those are the things that we can actually compare. And you see like the first one is the Mike Tukatun, the second one is the Million Sunday set, and the third one is Gemendo. And the question that we have been asking here, like how does the number of tracks actually, is it influencing uh, the performance uh, if you're trying to generalize like from the data set that doesn't have a lot of samples to the data set which has a lot of them. And uh, the thing is that they're not very directly correlated. So for example, as we already mentioned before, the Magnetagatune data set is very well, uh, very good for testing, uh, but uh, at, it might mean that maybe the uh, quality of the tags is good there. Uh, so you can see uh, that actually that different tags, like for example, uh, the metal uh, tag would generalize well from any of the uh, data sets to the magnetic target tune. But for example, like the worst performance of here, you can see the guitar. And for example, it, uh, it is like from Mendo to MSD. So maybe it means that uh, there are some uh, different tagging uh, procedures or uh, basically there are multiple reasons. For example, you can see like the electronic tag, uh, the performances over all of the kind of different uh, situation that we have put it into is kind of similar, but other tags like metal vary very differently. So it means that some tags are much well, much better generalizable than other tags. And uh, there might be a lot of uh, reasons for that. So the thing is that the difference between the models uh, is not as big uh, comparing to the difference between the data sets uh, as we uh, had seen on the tables. So uh, although there are some tags that some models handle better, 
uh, if we change the data set, the performance is much, much different, much more different. So the data set quality is very important. And this kind of uh, research is good to try to assess the data set quality. So what might be the reason? Is it the tagging procedure? Uh, because the German data set is tagged by the artist uh, comparing it to the other data sets. Is it the quality of the audio content or source? For example, the medium song data set, uh, you only have like the 30 second uh, strips of the audio, or is it the distribution of the tags, or it is the number of the training samples? So, so there are a lot of open questions. So the result of this work is kind of raising more questions than we have answered. Uh, so we would like to continue and analyze the effect of the training, number of the training samples or other causes. Also maybe compare the results of the merge tags uh, or, or the split tag, for example, alternative rock and classic rock in one data set might be corresponding to rock tag in the other data set. And also comparing the different sources of audio and tagging procedures for the model of, of accuracy. So that's uh, the gist, gist of the work that we had did uh, in the collaboration and thank you for listening.